Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be your weekly energy reading for the week of September 30th through October 6th. Um, I'm gonna be using the Zombie Tarot, which is what I'm shuffling right now. But also, just a disclaimer, I'm gonna also be working with the Demon Tarot. Um, so if you're not comfortable with that, don't watch this reading. <laughs> but just giving you a heads up because some people might be a little uncomfortable with that. Okay, so I'm gonna be pulling cards for the elements, and of course we're gonna be um, going in order as I usually do, so we're gonna start with our earth signs. So earth signs, you guys got the six of cups and the strength, I love it. Six of cups and strength is a strength with um, with those of that you love, your, your loved ones, people who are really near and dear to your soul, earth signs. This is a time for allowing um, people to be supporters of you. This is a time to reconnect. Some of you guys might be having some old family friends, some old friends of the family or old family members that you haven't had much contact with and they may be coming back and reconnecting. So some people from the past earth signs might be coming back in to reconnect with you. Now this could be a positive, but for some people this can also be a little bit of a negative too because this could be like ex-lovers or just people you really don't want to have connections with. Um, but Six of Cups will often display somebody from the past trying to make a connection, okay? Um, the Strength card also shows a week of strength, a week of utilizing your strength. And I'm, I'm also seeing it as mental strength because the bullet is through the head of the zombie. Um, and to me, that's just like the brain. So I feel like it's utilizing your mentality, like making your decisions, being a, um, being your own, an, or a, blah, 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 being your own source of strength this week. Um, but utilizing your mind and trusting your thoughts and your initial thoughts in that aspect. You guys also got Renov. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Renov, and this says um, also transcribed as Ronway. Okay is a marquee of hell whose appearance is simply described by demonologists as monstrous. He is a gifted speaker in command of 19 military units. So he is a gifted speaker, which is pretty much kind of goes with the strength card. So my earth signs, I feel like you guys are going to be seeing a lot of strength and empowerment with your voice. Um, and a lot of people are going to be listening to what you have to say. Um, those of you guys who are seeing people from the past coming into your present, if this is a, for a negative stance, utilize your voice. Utilize the power of your voice to make a point this week, okay? Um, so... Don't shy away. Don't shy away this week. I feel like utilizing your strength, your power, your mind, and um, and be aware of the power of your tongue, okay? <laughs> you can have a lot of influence with your voice if you're just willing to speak up um, on certain matters, speak out. You know, this is a really good opportunity this week for you guys to do that. So I feel like earth signs is going to be a good week for you guys. Um, okay, so next we have air signs. So air signs, you guys got Lucifer. <laughs> You guys also have the King of Swords, and you guys got the Tower. So my air signs, Tower and the King of Swords. Um, this could be some some miscommunications that might be a little bit putting on a damper. So just like like how I say the Earth signs are having a strength with their voice, you guys might actually be feeling a little bit more weakened. So I would say with that Tower card coming up with the King of Swords, um, be really careful how much of yourself um, that you put out there with your voice. I feel like you guys will will say things and maybe you don't really mean it in a certain way or people will often misinterpret it in, in a way. Um, and so you guys, it, it, it ends up to cause a little bit of a disruption. That King of Swords can sometimes be very temperamental. The King of Swords can be somebody who um, is very intelligent and, and has a power of his voice, but also a King of Swords in a reverse it can be an element of somebody who speaks too much. They speak out of their ass. They don't think before they speak. They're very, very impulsive in that way. Um, so I would say my air signs is just be aware of that and try not to be super impulsive with your actions, with your mind and with your voice this week. Lucifer comes through is a fallen angel whose name is also that of the morning star, the planet Venus, which is also known as the bringer of dawn. He's the king of hell who appears as a beautiful child. Um, the king of hell basically. So <laughs> I feel like with Lucifer literally coming up for you guys, it's just kind of showing that a lot of you guys are up on your 
your pedestals this week. Um, and some of you guys with that tower card, you may be getting knocked off of it. So this could be someone else trying to push you off of your own, you know, your own high horse, or it might just be, it, it might be time for you guys to kind of step down a little bit, take it down a notch. Don't be super, super aggressive. Um, because like I said, a king of swords can be someone with a lot of authority, but a lot of times if you're using your voice, your power in a negative sense, um, something or something, someone or something might take over or something can happen where you'll be knocked off of your, um, your high horse and... <laughs> You know, you know what I mean? So just be a little bit more humble this week. Um, okay, so we have um, the fire signs next. So fire signs, you got Zabos. Zabos. You got the ace of wands. Look at that creepy ace of wands. <laughs> then you guys also got the king of cups. So another king energy. You guys, there's a strong, a strong energy this week. Um, so my fire signs, queen of, I mean, king of cups and ace of wands. And this is, aces are always new beginnings and kings hold their own. Um, but this is an emotional connection, okay? So my fire signs, you you guys may be making emotional or energetic connections with other people. Some of you guys might be seeing a new influx of clients coming your way. Those of you guys who perform energy healings or readings or any kind of like um, holistic type of service, you guys might be seeing a lot of emotional connections with the clients this week more so than like, motivational connections it might be more emotional so you guys might be seeing people break down you might be seeing people really become more vulnerable to you with their with their problems and and coming to you and your services and you might see yourself really fulfilling a lot of their voids um so it's really important that you guys remain in a good energetic space as you're dealing with that because when people come to you when they're super vulnerable and they're drowning in their own emotions um they often are looking for someone to bring them out of it okay so let's see what zabo says Zabos is um, also Sayos or Salos, is a count of hell in command of 30 military units. He has a kind and peaceful nature and he manifests in the form of an armed soldier riding a crocodile. So to the fact that he comes through as a calm nature really <laughs> goes hand in hand with that king of cups. So my fire signs, you guys are being asked to tone it down a little bit this week to be soft, okay? Especially if you're doing services, if you work around people, um, approach with a softer demeanor um, because I feel like you're going to be making a lot of real strong, energetic, emotional connections this week. And then lastly, we have my water signs. Water signs, we have Amudis, um, Amducius. <laughs> we have Nine of Wands. And we also have Ace of Hazards. So we also have an Ace card too. Ace of Hazards, um, I believe the Ace of Hazards is the Pentacle she has all the diamonds and stuff and then the nine of wands so <laughs> nine of wands is a card of like the, like look at the zombies taking a nice bite out of her arm um a lot of attention on us water signs okay this is a lot of people wanting our attention a lot of people you know dealing with a lot of crowds dealing with a lot of maybe clients wanting you or people in your dms and that kind of thing and there's is there a lot of you to go around basically is how i'm seeing that um, and then the Ace of Hazards, it's definitely new beginnings or um, receiving. So a lot of us water signs, again, if we're in the holistic business or whatnot, or you have your own personal business, you may be seeing a lot of new clients coming your way. You may be finding yourself, you know, receiving money that you didn't think you were going to get. So <laughs> some, some money coming your way that you didn't think you were going to have, which actually happened to me this morning. So that's why I'm saying it. Um, and also with the, with the demon card, the, the fact that he is, um, he conducts invisible instruments in Molo. Oh, I didn't even read it. I'm sorry. Amducius is a Duke of hell in command of 29 legions. He conducts invisible instruments in melodious concert and the trees bow to his voice. So to me, it's kind of like saying utilizing your talents, um, and you'll have a lot of people listen, okay? So it's kind of like water signs when you're speaking or when you're performing your readings or when you're doing your healings and messages and mediumship and whatnot. People listen. People really listen. So utilizing your talents in that way. I'm sorry I'm reading so fast, you guys, but I only get 10 minutes to film for, <laughs> for these Instagram TVs. Um, but water signs, I feel like um, it's gonna be a good week for us too. Lots of, you know, random money coming our way and whatnot, but it's it's all in how you deal and how you treat it. So treat the energetic exchanges with a positive 
And that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Have a beautiful week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.